Uh, we are back to do our new Belgium drive here in Nashville. If you saw the last one, uh, I think it did uh, better besides I had a few unlucky scenarios. Um, so, unfortunately, that was a problem. I'm not going to have my 360 camera today. Um, I just decided last minute um, I was going past Asheville, coming back from Boone. And I was like, figured, hey, why not? Let's go. Uh, this is a new version. <laughs> why is it not going? Okay. Uh, new version, and um, let's go ahead and get some videos in Asheville. I'm pressing the accelerator because I'm impatient. Uh, these people uh, decided to go across both crosswalks. Okay. Also, not 35 mile an hour in here, which this is an improvement because it sees so many cars. There's people right here, and you know, there's so much stuff that has situational awareness. So it's not just going to fly up to 35, even though the speed limit is wrong on this. It, I'm well, actually, okay. I think by legally it's right. Don't you hit the curb? Don't you? Don't you hit the curb? Okay. So I can't really. Okay. I have. I had to give. Pre... It doesn't see there's a line right here, so I'm in two lanes right now. Come on! <laughs> this is the third time someone's almost hit me. Like, within the last 20 minutes. Um, twice? No, wait. No, sorry, three, fourth time! Fourth time in the last 20 minutes. Also, why is it going that way? No, we're gonna, we're keeping our route consistent, everyone. This is not gonna be a disengagement, it needs to go this way. This is the way it needs to go. I hate when the route changes. The route was correct. I'm pretty certain it was. If not, then well, that's my fault. But it needs... We, I purposely keep this route the same so you know consistency. You can't... Anyone who changes their route, you can't tell if it's consistent because the conditions change. You have to keep everything as consistent as possible. But yeah, uh, so back to that other car. I'm like... I don't, I like, I guess there's a lot of bad drivers in Nashville today or something. That's the fourth person in the last 20 minutes who's almost run into me. Like, it's absurd. Like, I don't know what it is today. Um, I guess just people aren't paying attention. I don't know. This is difficult. I'm having to lean way up to see. I know the car can't see yet. And we have this guy here on the right. It must be. No. This is an example where the B pillar is really quite limited. I think right here it can see. But look how close we are to the road for it to be able to see. And there's a car coming from the right. A guy honked behind me because I could have gone, but I just let the car do its thing. And obviously he couldn't see the car right here. So that's going to be a disengagement. Because it didn't get in the correct lane. This spot right here is really annoying me. It hasn't been able to get in this correct lane since like 10.9, no 9.2 I think. Like way back. Well over a year it hasn't been able to get in this correct lane. Because the, lane, the paint's fainted. If they were to repaint these roads it would do actual perfectly. Almost, uh, it, would, it would do everything great. But because the, the lane lines suck, it's not able to compensate for cruddy lane lines, which is why it probably works so well in, um, in California. When I see videos of California, the lane lines are freaking perfect. Uh, there's not faded lane paint anywhere. Everything looks brand new. And it's like, no wonder it can drive so well there. It doesn't have to deal with faded paint. Um, so that's why we're having, um, it's so much more difficult here to uh, just, you know, stay in the correct lane because it, it has to compensate for credit paint, um, paint jobs. Okay, so that was natural going up to the stop sign. Let's see how it turns right here. A little bit timid, but otherwise good. And 
we're about to stop right here to re-navigate. Unfortunately, it seems like navigation is um, a little bit quicker after um, doing some snapshots. Seems like it doesn't crush the data upload now that we have snap um, when you press a snapshot. And then maybe that was a bug fix or you know improvement with 69 that three three. See how it does in this little tiny like parking lot like pass through right here. I always thought this was like the weirdest like road or park like you drive right through a parking lot. There's a car right here. He should go. Okay. As interesting, once it commits, I'm pressing the accelerator right now. It's being really timid coming through here. Uh, once it commits, it just kind of just goes. It's interesting. So I remember last time we did this, there was an oncoming car and basically had a disengagement. We don't have that situation today, uh, unfortunately. Okay, so we're gonna have to pull off the side right here to re-navigate again. So thankful for alternate routes, everyone. <laughs> Cause like, I would've had to reroute that again if it didn't give me that second choice. Is it? Okay, it's going. Oh wait, darn it, it's still not going the way I want. I need it to go up, up this way. I'm gonna add a waypoint here so it can, it can make this turn. Okay. And once we make this turn, then I'm able to um, uh, re uh, cancel that waypoint so it'll keep on going the right direction. Is it gonna, it's just gonna run over this little bump in the road. Didn't even acknowledge that at all. Okay. Oh, I don't know why I have my hazard on still. A little bit slower for here, so last time there were cones and crap in here. So it should still slow down though. Going way too fast in here. Ooh. Oh, it shows you don't need um um uh, the pedestrian warning for a uh, blind man to hear you. I think that was like it's really overkill the type of sound they have, but I don't know. Um, maybe he's not fully blind, so that's possible. Okay, I pressed the accelerator just to get it to go ahead and go. That's uh, one thing they're probably gonna wait a bit to improve. I think it's a, I think it's purposeful right now. Um, is the hesitancy and timidness around pedestrians, VRUs. I want to use their technical term. Uh, let's see, we got pedestrians crossing over here. VRUs. I'm pressing it through this yellow light. That was my doing. I think that's appropriate in my opinion. And let's go ahead up at a couple mile an hour and we're gonna stop the yellow. See that this is what I'm talking about. Like it seems to be a little bit more responsive to the lights now. So maybe that's been improved with this version. It, the release notes I'm pretty sure were exactly the same. So nothing obviously improved. But um yes, the uh, a few things here and there are definitely been improved. Uh, the same things, uh, it comes down to lane selection and speed limits are my main two issues. Once those problems are fixed, then um, this is going to be really great. Okay. Again, um, because that car right there, that was a disengagement. Um, I know I didn't look at the blinker. Now, if may I thought I heard the blinker and I was like, okay, it's trying to get in the right lane for some freaking reason. Um, but maybe it was just trying to go around that truck that was oncoming. So maybe that was my fault and that wouldn't have been needed. You uh, again, let me know in the comments down below if you think that was a necessary disengagement or not. Uh, maybe I just wasn't like, well. I was paying attention to the road and not the screen, so that's that's the thing. 
and that's good latency between the light changing so it started going even though the car in front of me hadn't fully, fully committed yet see how it does in this roundabout here everyone these roundabouts have been notoriously hesitant it's like one time ever it's been really solid and a couple the other time it was solid it like tried to like go into the median this is yeah best it's ever been yeah even with this truck here it slowed down very well see if we can get it to go to the next one so this road right here is not marked not mapped and it's doing it just fine doesn't even have a route it's like well I guess this is the only way we can go see it's not even on the map and we got a person walk person come on it won't let me blow the horn Okay, I tried to blow the horn. <laughs> it won't let me blow the horn in full self driving. Interesting. I've I've never tried to do that before. That's just the thing about people in Nashville. They're like, I don't know. They seem to be like somewhat entitled. I don't know. There's just uh, I guess that's everywhere. I don't know. You have entitled people everywhere. Like, get out of the road. There's a sidewalk. Like, come on. Um, also, I lowered the speed down, so that doesn't help. So, we are very timid here. I'm pressing the accelerator just to tell it to go. Come on, you can go. You can do it. That was okay. Oh, just too timid going into the into the um, roundabout. Let's see, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go all the way down this road and back around, back onto this road right here. So let's go and navigate it here. This road in the past, we're gonna find out how well it does at detecting lane markings. It's always wanted to pop pass into this bike lane that's over here. There's a basically bike road if you will, right here. It's a fantastic greenway. Um, and it's it, do, it just didn't see this median right here. So it seems to be much clearer than it used to be. Now, obviously, it's still having some issues. But it's much clearer red right here than it used to be in previous versions. Now, earlier on, uh, it did this road great. And then there was a handful of versions that clearly rewrote something. And it just, like, it just couldn't see it. Oh, see like this. It was like this. One thing to note, I, the entire drive back from Boone, North Carolina to here, um, obviously it's winter time and there's a lot of low hanging shadows like this. Shit, phantom braking is not really there. You get, you do get it. Uh, let me make that clear. There are a few cases. There was only one major case. The entire drive, hundred like ninety miles of driving to get here, right? And I don't know what that was. And that was that was actually break really hard for no reason. I think it was going around a curve and maybe it saw saw something, you know. Um, but I'm very happy with uh, the phantom breaking in this version. It just really doesn't seem to be there. You just kind of forget about it once it's not there. You know, you just kind of don't. You forget that I was doing it before, right? So that was a good turn. And staying at a good speed on this bridge, obviously, because the car's in front of me. Let's see how it makes this turn here and, and past. It's done good and terrible. And it's done good. Voided the mud puddle, that's what we want. And it needs to stay slow. Doesn't see the, the uh, speed bumps. And it appears that it does. It seems like the speed it wants to go over the speed limits is about 17 mile an hour, which is good. That's a good speed, in my opinion. Like this right here, great. That that actually worked really nicely. I don't know if that's a heuristic thing or it's just like, or it's like a groovy neural net, but it's um, slowing down very appropriately. I'm, I'm almost certain this is an improvement from the previous version 
that I went here that it's now slowing down appropriately for, you, for speed bumps again. Whereas these are speed bumps that are very obvious speed bumps, you know, they have that little symbol on it. Uh, it's not like it's an actual just like mound of concrete uh, that you have to drive over that aren't isn't marked at all. It's just you have to be able to tell it's a three-dimensional object. It's a little bit different. Otherwise, it's doing really well right here. Definitely too fast for that one. But uh, not like so fast it's going to hurt the car or anything. Same thing right here. So, though I did see it and slowed down last second, and that was that was okay. Okay, we got a tight little squeeze right here. I don't know if folding the mirrors were necessary, but yeah, um, better safe than sorry. And it handled that well. I didn't. I haven't pressed accelerate the whole time in here, uh, so it did that. Like honestly, the speed adjustment going through those cars was on point. I did that really well. That was too fast. Yeah, I can hear my stuff bouncing in the back. I'm just gonna just navigate it right here because um, we are going into New Belgium. And as this is a point just past New Belgium. So it'll make it there. Nice little view on the right and we need to, come on. Like that should have got over sooner. Like, it was going towards that lady um, far too long. Uh, Should have got over um, on the left side of the road sooner. And I think those things will be improved. It takes disengagements. So obviously, I I didn't disengage because it wasn't like... I knew it was going to get over. See, those, that's the type of gray area. I think when you have more people, the general consensus is someone's going to disengage when that happens. In which case, they are going to train the system like hey you should get over it. and eventually it's going to take the average of everyone you know if I'm fine letting it do that and someone else isn't and disengages way far back it's going to eventually do that and then eventually it's going to get to the point that you're going to have the least amount of disengagements from um, from a comfort reason it'll slowly get better over time like this time next year if it's not like substantially improved like all those little things I would be surprised. It's not going to be perfect by any means. We got a car that's parked in bad spot to park in the middle of the road. Not a good spot, <laughs> in my opinion. So in these areas, we have all these this um, I don't know brush, if you will. That um, I cannot see up this road. The sun's in the way. Okay, there's no cars coming. Um, but. Now in winter time, you can see better because you don't have all this growth everywhere. So we need to stop here, not not here. Um, stop and for this car. Okay, it did that well. Okay, and I'm gonna disengage here to get into New Belgium just so we can finalize this video. I don't know. I think. Um, it's it's one of those it's one of those drives where like some things it messed up on that it's always messed up on. This person's on the wrong side of the road is a one way, um, and other things it is um, improved, and yeah, I will be sure to note that. You'll see in the change uh, in my um, chapters, you'll see all the things I consider to be improvements or not improvements, um, and. Just look for those and you can hop around the video wherever you want. I think that's going to be very good. Uh, last video for today is going to be a um, drive back from my parents to my test route too. And I'll decide, I guess we might, I might go out tomorrow to go grocery shop and do a little loop and get a couple more videos in. But I am looking forward to version 11 is what I want wanting to do. Um, hopefully we will have that here in the coming uh, weeks. Uh, so just over, just about. Uh, tomorrow, uh, well, today is one week from Christmas Eve, Saturday. So hopefully next week we'll have some good stuff to see. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.